I have been sitting on this box for entirely too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance to this company, I Speckle. They sent these out to me in the middle of July. It's now the end of August, and for some reason I never actually opened them. Let's remedy that. But these are the iSpeckle Bluetooth 4.1 in-ear earbuds with aptX stereo. They're IPX4 waterproof, and let's just dig into it. And I will say, the reason I held off on doing this video is because when I received them, I had literally just done another video for a pair of Bluetooth earbuds that looked identical to these. So I wanted to give it a little bit of space, and then I broke my foot. But anyway, inside of the box, you're gonna get a user manual, a health booklet, that's interesting. Gives you a way to keep track of all your running and walking, jogging, hiking, any sort of sporting type activity you do with or without the head Phones. Would also be a good way to track the actual use of the headphones to see how the battery life is. Of course you get a micro USB charging cable and then a little branded hard side case for them with the headphones inside. Before we pull the headphones out, there are also two other spare pairs of silicon earbuds, ear tips, a little stretchy pocket there for them, and the earbuds themselves. And here they are. There are actually two different color versions of these available over on Amazon. There's red, which looks like this, and then there's gray, so the red areas of this are just a darker gray color. Now just like the previous pair of earbuds I looked at like this, these have the over-the-ear clips, but they're also very pliable and flexible. So actually, the previous pair of these have become my favorite Bluetooth Sport earbuds. They're the ones that I use whenever I go running. Unfortunately, because of broken foot, I haven't been running in a while. But just like the previous ones, there are no controls or anything on the main earphones themselves. It's all on this little section right here. So you have plus and minus, and then the multifunction button, micro USB here on the side of it, and this little status LED right here with a little clip that you can sort of slide along so that you can, if you have any extra slack and you want to remove some of that, you just slide it in the other side and kind of pop it into place. So now you've got a little way to hold all that excess cable in place if there is any. And of course, without any further ado, let me go ahead and power these on, pair them up to my phone, do a quick test of them. Unfortunately, again, I cannot go out and run in them, so I can't give you a thorough test. But if these are anything like the other ones in terms of just the way they feel when you're running with them, these are gonna be some of the most comfortable ones you can get. And for 30 bucks over on Amazon, that's awesome. So we power them on by holding the button and it's ready to pair. It showed up here in my Galaxy S7 pairing. Okay, and we are back. Change lenses, change camera angles and whatnot, but the earbuds are paired up. They're on me. I've made them comfortable just by adjusting the over-ear clips. I love Bluetooth earbuds that have over-ear clips, especially ones that are adjustable. Let me do a quick test here of some audio. Again, go into the YouTube audio library files that I keep here on my device. Now, unfortunately, the Galaxy S7 does not support aptX, aptX, so it's not going to be the absolute best quality sound it could be, but it's still going to be pretty good. Okay, let's turn this up. Sounds pretty decent, and it gets decently loud. It's not the loudest thing I've ever heard. Actually, no. Now that I've turned it up more, it's it's very loud and the, the treble is hitting very hard. That's a good sound. The interesting thing there, when I hit pause, a lot of times with these Bluetooth earbuds, if I hit pause on something or there's a silent section, there's a background hiss. I, I didn't hear it on these. Okay, yeah, when I really, really listen for it, like stop and pay attention, it's just ever so slightly there. But it, of all the Bluetooth earbuds and speakers that I've tested, it's one of the quietest ones. And it's not a big deal either way. The bass is not overpowering. There's not a whole lot of it. And as far as the buttons, let's see. That does play pause. If I hold the button forward, that changes to the next track. If I hold this button, that goes to the beginning of the track. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of bass to them. Not a big deal. They do get very loud, but there's not a whole lot of bass but it's a very nice, very clear sound. It's just kind of like it's had the, the bass equalizer turned down. Still, good sound though. And even though it probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do so, let me go ahead and play you back a couple of songs just so you can hear it as well. And there you have it. And just in case some of you guys are curious, because I know there are quite a few of you that have asked, the songs I end up playing when I do that kind of thing, which I know is not scientific in any way, they're all from the YouTube Audio Library, and they are About That Oldie, Beat Your Competition, C Major Prelude, Calypso Beach Walk, and Cataclysmic Molten Core. There are a bunch of other ones that I test it with as well, but those I think hit upon the sort of overall sound. You've got the lots of treble songs with all the, the classical music, then you've got the heavy bass stuff with the, the more beat your competition and the, the Cataclysmic Molten Core, and some of the good all around ones like About Your Oldie where it hits some of the high notes and the low notes. That's just the sampling that I tend to go from. So initial thoughts and impressions of these, very decent sound quality, very comfortable. I think these would make an excellent addition to a running headphone set. They say they should work for about eight hours of solid playback with 110 hours of standby time. The one thing that these are kind of lacking, in my opinion, is bass. 
You might be able to get a little bit better by switching the tips out for some foam tips to give you some more sound isolation, but even then I don't really know how much that would do. So as long as you're not that heavy into having a huge amount of bass in your headphones, these are gonna be a great option for you. If you need that real bass driving sound, these may not be the best option, but that is actually where I'm gonna have to wrap things up because again, I cannot go running in these at the moment. I'll put a link to where you can find them down in the description. Thanks so much to iSpeckle for sending these out for me to take a look at, and again, apologies that it took so long to get around to doing it. Thanks to you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video, and subscribe to receive more, and I'll see you again next time.